Okay. Really? <laughs> So, welcome to my first collab. This is my buddy Simon Forger. Hi guys. And uh, he doesn't have a YouTube channel yet. In the making. I was gonna say, but Let's I'm, put it that I'm way. hoping that there's gonna be one coming. Cause he's got a lot of cool stuff to show off. <laughs> Today, what we're showing off is gonna be some EDC stuff. Um, for me, this is very interesting because I have two. I, I, I've done a, an EDC video for you guys before, and I have two distinct EDCs. One is urban. One is when I'm uh, in the bush. My urban one is very simply wallet, keys. Even though I'm in the city, tick key, and my Leatherman, which I found by the way. Oh. <laughs> After months of it being, <laughs> God knows where I found it. Um, now Simon takes a much more. Um, what would you say your approach is? Mm, careful. Measured. Um, thought out. Thought out, yeah, maybe. Yeah, for for Simon, uh, EDC has been a long, <laughs> a, a long process. A of long journey. Him. So I figure um, I want him to show you what his journey was like, and then maybe if you guys are interested later, just drop down below what your current EDC is, or maybe shoot a video about it. That would be cool, actually. That would be cool to see as well, where people are in their own EDC, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe, maybe I don't want to tag anyone because last time I tagged someone, it was a disaster. But <laughs> anyone who makes a video about their EDC after watching this one will get a shout out. Just <laughs> let me know down below that you've done one. So sounds let's, good. Let's look at the first EDC. Well, EDC. <sighs> I got into ADC way before it was cool, and I mean 1998. 98? Yeah, January 1998 was the North American, uh, North, North American Eastern, Eastern North American The ice, blackout. The blackout. The ice storm. The ice storm. That's when I got my cell phone. I got mine around that time too. Yeah. Anyway, I was working for a small radio cam shop at the time. Okay. And carrying around a small tool to, to, uh, toolbox. Oh, okay. Actually, my last week of internship at that shop was the first one of that oh, ice, storm. ice storm. Yeah. That last 11 weeks. <laughs> Well, for some parts of the, let, for those of you who aren't from Quebec or Ontario, in '98, an ice storm came through that kicked the pants off of the um, the power grid in Quebec, Ontario, some parts of the eastern provinces, and like we, upstate New York. Or it something. was Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia for a little part, yeah. uh, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. For, but the, for the nor, nor, northern no, the, parts the north most, okay. of these, yeah. So some parts of these areas were out of power for like a few weeks. Some parts were out of power for just a few days. Um, I The maximum that I remember was 11 weeks in Quebec. Yeah, in, in sort of the small areas. Yeah. Anyway. I was, uh, I was out of power for like maybe a week. I was camped out at a friend's place who had power. A lot of people had a very rough time with it. Yep. So that's when you decided yeah, to prepare. Yeah, well, didn't have an, had the choice anyway. Okay. So my very first EDC, um, I'll put it that way. I got a similar sheet that I had at the time, uh, which was a Night Ease Pockets. The sheath? Yep. Okay, show up the sheath. The, so sh the sheath on its own, It's a, now it's a, a knockoff because I literally worn out two or three of those 90 sheets that was a nylon with a belt nylon clip. belt clip or belt loop whatever you want you you need into um place for a small tool i had a, a pair of scissors and uh, a regular mag light on um and it was my edc for years that one has, hasn't got a, oh, a no bulb in it there. everything blowed up but okay. yeah Try to find one of those right now. Um, 
at the same time I actually got my very first multi-tool the crappiest one I can I could find and literally it held up well what is it it's not a Leatherman <laughs> it is not it is a knockoff I believe that one came from Mark's Warehouse or something like that. Okay, Mark's Work Warehouse is a chain. I think it's just Canadian. Is it American as well? No, nah, no, it is only Canadian and that. What um, nowadays in Quebec it's called L'Equipeur. L'Equipeur. But yeah. it used to be called La Warehouse, which was a terrible marketing choice. It was sort of like a faux joie <laughs> spelling of the English yeah. word warehouse. They did very poorly on business. Uh, and they end up changing the name altogether because... La Warehouse. It was awful. Right? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that see. one is riveted. There's no quality in it, but it served me for about 10 years. So what? Uh, pliers, some knives. Okay. Yeah. Very, very, very basic one. Nothing to say about it. But, yeah. I do want to say one thing. We're not going to go digging into all of these multi-tools because nope. this is a basic EDC video. Yep. If you guys want to see an in-depth video on any specific multi-tool, drop us a line and, you know. And we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. And So why those scissors? <laughs> actually, I got those scissors probably 20 years ago as well. Yeah. Those are regular uh, paramedics, or, but they are the very smaller ones that I found out. And it w it is not possible in that in that sheet, but it was possible on the pockets to put it straight on the back. Okay. In such way, it was literally um, held on the back and accessible through the top. Okay, but why did you get these um, paramedic scissors instead of a normal pair? What is it? Was it about? I, the have you have you tried to to worn one one of those? No. You won't be able. Really. They are. <laughs> I haven't been able to warn any paramedic shears at all over the years. Okay. And I literally got them through hell. And so you can beat on them and they'll just keep Yeah, working. and let me see if I got one. Nope. And was there a knife in this uh, EDC? Actually that that crappy knife. Wow. That's an old school. That's an old school. Let me see. Ah, oh, jeez. I haven't cleaned it up anyway. It is so it is now it. more for history value than being worn. Well, it's still solid. It is still a s Chinese made, but you know, it's yeah. still solid. And it's brass. The yeah. patina. Yeah. There's there's some uh, some green patina right right on spot on it. So Looking real good. brass, real wood, and real steel. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what steel that is. <sighs> it's actually pretty sharp, dude. Maybe I like to sharpen knives. Maybe you do yeah. like to sharpen it too. Like, yeah. yeah. Even even the one that I'm not carrying uh, around receives. Nice to keep it. Yeah. They receive a right treatment from a, a my sharp end. knife is a happy knife. Cool. Yep. So that was your first EDC. That's the first one. Now we're gonna switch to the second box. Yep. So okay, so that that was my multi tool. <laughs> we're not gonna dive too we're much not. into it because it's a bushcraft channel. That's like a yeah phone technician alarm technicians. Yeah, phone. I I'm a telecom tech by trade, so. Um, he also has some really nice axes, though. He's he he's he's not completely separated from the bushcraft world. He's got a backpack over there with it. Looks like is that a grand spur sticking at the top? There's Which, one there. Yeah. And there's, there's a grand spurs back there. Yep. And there's a half hatch And there's, and a, there's a Watkins. And <laughs> You got a Walters. Yeah. A Walters. Got. I'm sorry. Walters is my jam, by the way. For any of you who, who've been watching my channel for a long time, you know Walters is my jam. So when I saw this guy's Walters, I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> We're not here to talk about axes this time. We may have to do another video, dude. Might be. Okay. So what you got there? <clears throat> when I stopped working on Rome, I end up working in an office. Okay. So there's no way I'm gonna carry around a full tool belt in an office. Fair point. And there were no way that I will carry around that old multi-tool that I that I used to before. Okay. 
because <clears throat> yeah nicer tools better income yeah why not yeah i understand that completely and big on looking into multi-tools all over uh end up buying a letterman rebar now in a package with a micro Interesting. It was okay. the same blister package. Now, my um, mine, by the way, is a discontinued model. It's a fuse. Here's the rebar. They look like they're about the same size, but this one's got some plastic on it, and this one doesn't. It does not. I bet you this one's a better. Do they still make? No, they don't make the rebar anymore. They're do they? still. Are there? Yep. And I believe that they are still making a knifeless rebar. Is this one knifeless? No, this one. This okay. one is a uh, is with uh, the two blades. Okay. A serrated and um, or plain. So then, edge. what's the micro good for? Oh, nice scissors. This is exactly the point. The rebar on its own doesn't have any scissors on it. Okay. So, a couple of years ago, they they actually had. Uh, blister pack with um, the micro tied on um, for about 50 Canadian pesos. Really? I would have spent that. I totally would have spent that. Oh, you got some tweezers on here? Okay, so this is like the... Alright. So... This is... Yeah, it's a regular rebar on it. Okay, so then what are the, again, we're not going to dive into any nope. of these, we don't have the time. Except. What about the sheath? Oh wait, is that the actual? It is actually the uh, bit adapter the for, the re for, for the rebar. Okay, so that fits onto? And it fits straight onto the uh, Phillips. Really? Okay. Yep. Just slots right on there? So, uh, there's a squ square on the okay. one and straight. So there's nothing more than friction to retain it, okay. but you can use the the famous or infamous uh, uh, Letterman, Letterman uh, bits. bits, or just a plain three qu uh, quarter inch. Own, okay. Yep, everything works Very from there. Very interesting. But like, what bit is that? It is actually an alum. This is an al. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that that's that's nice. Can you tell I need new glasses? I'm looking at everything. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't been obvious in my videos lately, has it, kid? Nice. Okay. So, and there's two uh, two slots available to put your own bits if you if you want to. Nice. Okay. There's, That's a nice. Kit. There is still some issues that I found out with this one. Like, have you ever tried to open the blade on this? Well, I chew my nails, so I'm always having trouble opening a blade. Yep. Okay, that's not the blade. Well, well this is one blade, of them. But it's not the other one is on the other end. My point is, you need to open the whole freaking thing. Yeah, yeah, you got Every it. single time. <clears throat> Moreover, if you're closing the tool, yeah. and you want to use that blade, you still have to reclose it and look at this. That drives me nuts. Do I have the same problem? Because I have the same problem with you having to open the blade. But it is still... Uh, if wait, you let's move it up here so that they can see it on camera. Right there. Do you you see want that? it there? Okay, you want it there. Okay, fine. Um, it is still not flush. I don't know if it's... I'm just OCD on this. But it's still not yeah, flush. Yeah, because if you're cutting, right? Yep. Say you're cutting... You want to just cut an, ap an apple. Tuck. I, I just try to I'd cut never, an apple with this. I'd never thought of that because it doesn't it doesn't go all the way to the. To and the it bottom. drives me crazy. So, I end up circumventing the problem with a Letterman CX 33X. It's a good small blade. What is that? Three inch? No, it's not even. Pff, not it's even two? three inch. Two and um, a half? Two? Yeah, maybe. What's that kind of lock called? Liner lock. Liner lock. Yep. What's this? Carabiner. Oh. oh, that's a good touch. Yeah, and that 
was an issue from the beginning when I tried to close that carabiner at first. Uh, oh, okay. I s maybe I'm just bad, but I literally spent days trying to figure it out how to close it. How and how do you do? You push on the end and you get it back. Yep. Wow. God, I feel stupid now. <laughs> and I did feel stupid when I when I when I ran into this. Um, it's, it's a good like it's it doesn't really fill the hand. It's pro it wouldn't be my first choice for a folder, but like I'm. I'm on the hunt for a good folder. For with this combination, mm -hmm. with this blade, I'm feeling comfortable to go out on the war with this. Okay. Well, war. I'm not gonna defend myself, but probably with this. But I'm still in Canada, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, Two little things that I had on later on, uh, a small 90s 6-in-1, uh, Okay. mostly to score boxes. I don't want to use any of my knife to open boxes. To score boxes, okay. So the tip of that small 6 or $7 dollar Canadian dollar tool is uh, pretty awesome. Okay. Give yeah. you a couple, a uh, couple uh, size uh, wrench sizes. Yeah, yeah. And I end up buying a small solitaire flashlight. Flashlight to go, and everything goes into that little sheet. So small compact. Well, except for the for the blade, but everything else goes into that sheet. Small compact. Okay. Everything's fine with it. So this is your third EDC. Actually, that's my most current one. This is your most current one. In Let's put it that way. I got actually two EDCs. Okay. I got one in the house or around my property, and I got one outside of my property. Okay. This one is when I'm at home. This is the one that I'm that I'll be carrying around. So this is like, mostly what I'm carrying whenever whenever I got back to work from work. One thing I would like to say about that is I also have an EDC when I'm at home, and it's called a cup of tea. <laughs> I don't carry anything when I, I might have like the Leatherman, but uh, you know when I'm home, I don't keys. Okay. I got keys. I got some medication. Yes, I'm getting older and I need some medication. I'm right there with your brother. Um, I got the smartest flashlight, the best bang for the buck in my hand. And by the way, I will consider the whole thing that I got here. Mm -hmm as my recommendation for a beginner's EDC. Okay, so this this is Simon's recommendation. Well, for anybody that wants to begin in it and that want, don't want to spend a, a whole lot of money, okay, this is what I'm comfortable with. Okay. So this is a True Knight, it's a small T10. It takes a single uh, AA battery. Okay, that's good. Max, <clears throat> the, the maximum. Output of this is 252 lumens, and it's a tail cap. So there's um, there's a small uh, single lumen mode. This is medium. Okay, you're just clicking it through a bit too quickly. Okay, wait. Let's try it again. Okay, what's that? You. It is closed. Okay, so that. This one is uh, the low mode, like one lumen or something like that. Just don't remember top of my head. Okay. You don't have to click it through to change mode. You just have to uh, get half through. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so that's that's the high mode there. This is the medium, I believe, and this is the high. Whoa. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Why did I do that? So my point with funny. this is you still have 250 uh, and 50 lumens or so are plenty enough for whatever you're going to do around the house. Yeah. And I found out that I sometimes prefer to use my flashlight than opening uh, 
the lights in the room in a room okay something <coughs> quick or i don't just don't want to disturb the family click this is a go-to and it comes with a small wand oh yeah you okay. want to let everything that's the thing that you want to use all right i like that yeah <clears throat> now i got two of them of course only because i did find the other one <laughs> So I'm not. You're, he's not the only one to lose. I was everything. here several months ago, and when, when was when was I here? There was snow on the ground. I Probably in February or March, something yeah. like that. And I had lost this, and I couldn't find it. All told, this thing was missing about six months. I just found it in a base case when I was uh, at a gig. I was digging through looking for uh, an extra battery, and it was like, boop. Well, there it is. So anyway, so he had misplaced. He had. That's polite, right? Simo had misplaced his his Leatherman. So now he's got two. And I was pleasingly surprised to see that my beloved Letterman Wingman has changed over the years. Has it? Yeah. Because I think when I was here, I told you that this is my favorite. Oh, look at that. So yeah, they did change for production at some point, at least the outer casing. So that's the newer one? This is a newer one. This is the older one. So it's to make it cheaper to produce then. Cheaper to produce, or just same, right? same same tools, same everything. Still a Letterman, and the most important thing that I love with this spring-loaded pliers. Yeah, I like that. But you know what my problem <sighs> is with it? Most of the tools you still have to open it up to get to. But you still got access to a, to a knife. To a knife, which is just outside and yes, yes it stands flush <laughs> so if you're cutting an apple boom it's all the way through the other thing that this tool have is actually a pair of scissors unlike the uh, also yeah. accessible from the uh, straight from the uh, outside piece? of the tool yep you just need to squeeze them out squeeze them out <sighs> Okay. And the scissors will will be only able to work properly if the tool is locked. It's locked, okay. Because yeah. the spring loaded um, is actually there's there's no spring loaded on the back. If for those of you who don't know, having the tool, having to open the Leatherman up or the Gerber or whatever to get at all the tools is a pet peeve of mine. I like. Like ever since I saw my first, I think the first one I saw like that was actually the Gerber, um, whatever. I, I don't remember what it was called. Gerber's not like one of my big companies, but all the the tools, if I remember correctly, were all accessible from the outside. And that I think it was also one of those one-handed things that you flick yeah, out. That, and I don't know if that's. I like the concept, but I don't like the execution of this. Well, I can't see how you can go flick and not have the um, and not have a bit of rattle going on. There's rattle even there if rattle. if okay. uh, if when it's low. So okay, okay. So you've got two of those, and I like this Leatherman. Even though you have to put it up to get to a lot of the tools, I think this is a much better solution than this. I keep oh, yeah. this one because I, I just you know money, right? And I kind of like having something discontinued in my pocket. Yeah. Um, but like the fact that it's it's a thin thinner metal, a thinner sheet metal around plastic, yeah. that bugs me, you know. But uh, the but combination works. of two of the two, uh, the plastic and metal, yeah. is still bump proof tool at the end. Yeah, yeah. This you, I've, I've had this forever, and it's and you, you know, and like you will have, uh, outlast. Uh, out, out, it'll last. It'll outlast. It will me. actually outlive you. So yeah, those are nice. I like that. Yep. Cool. Very last thing. CRKT Viva. It is a small pry bar. I'm. Some people use use it as a keychain. But how do you keep your keys from falling off it? Well, there's a hole on the front, and you got the uh, the it it the yeah, um, yeah, I see it, it I see can it. just get through it the can, loop. You know, just go on the floor. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So if you're just beginning on your uh, EDC journey, um, what I'll do is I'll find these things on Amazon or whatever, and I'll put them in the show notes below. Yep. So next. Okay, so you guys have seen Simon's first EDC. 
Um, he suggested a good EDC for those who are starting out. Yep. And now we're on to... Something a bit different than people might think as an EDC, but I still consider it as part of my own EDC. Okay, and so when did you develop this EDC? Actually, I did, <laughs> I did not develop it. I was looking for good looking pants, several colors, that I could just wear around into offices, but not too expensive and durable so I can get into plans and other places like this. I would like to just point out that uh, we're talking about EDC and he just brought up pants. Yep, pants. So, Simon. <laughs> pants, cause, cause those, don't, no, 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 no. Start again. <laughs> those are 5.11s. 5.11s, um, okay. 5.11s, uh, those are not really tactical. They are, uh, not sure about the name of those actually. Um, I so like a lot of pockets. Oh yeah, it is a je uh, jeans cut, but there's four more pockets than your regular jeans on. You got oh yeah, I see, I see. You it. got the small pockets on up the front, right there, yeah. But also what is called magazine pockets. Yeah. Okay. So you got the the back jeans pocket, but also a small small pocket. And the traditional pocket watch pocket of a pair of jeans. Yep. And the back, it's just two patch pockets. Yep. 511 Tactical Series, but it doesn't say what model they are. Uh, oh, and you've got a D-ring. Yep, D-ring on the front. On the front. Um, I got probably, I don't know, eight or ten pairs of those. Okay, so that cost you a pretty penny. About 50 bucks. Huh? Each? Yeah. Huh. And uh, reinforced rip, knees. And uh, rip stop. Rip stop, definitely rip stop, yeah. So over the course of a day, and I can attest of this, I went from my office to the corporate ed ed office, back to a plant, a manufacturing plant, and to an assembly plant into the same days, same day, and nowhere I was uh, forced to change myself because I was dirty or not kept, not professional enough yep. to step. Uh, in and out. I like these little reinforced corners. I love those pants. And for about 50 Canadian bucks. Yep, so <coughs> this is the next um, one question. You've yep. got a bunch of stuff here which you'll hold up and show. Yep. The pants you showed off. Yep. Included? Included. Like does any of this go with the pants? Or does all this go when you're wearing the pants? Everything that I sh I'm showing today, what we just yeah, that uh, was well with the pants. That was straight into the pants. This is what I'm carrying on my belt. That's on the belt. Yeah. Okay. As crazy as it may sound, yes, I'm carrying this stuff on my belt. I see. Okay. Okay. First thing. All right. Go. Medicines. Medicine. Right? Yeah. Still need it. Um, small whistle because I'm so bad at whistling. So. Fair point. And uh, actually, I got a small all slash pick, ice pick okay. that I carry around. Why? I find it very handy to trace lines, to get like a small scratch all oh, to yeah, trace okay. some yeah, lines I get it, I get it. at some point. Um, mainly for measurement, I don't intend to use it as a defense weapon weapon forget about it I, I have noticed that Americans are all about having something for defense in there but up here there's no point there's of no it um, small uh, Victor and Arc Zermatt sheet that fits my UST pill case okay. this is a 1.0 there's a smaller one the 0.5 um, those are both Fisher pens this is the original bullet that I used to carry in the past. I have one of those somewhere. Um, yeah, except my, I, I just have mine right on the spot. I just don't have it somewhere. <laughs> this guy's giving me attitude here. Uh, <laughs> Wait, is this a Fisher Spaceman? This is a Fisher Spaceman. It is a what? telescoping pen. Nope, you need to pull. Yes. I bet you I looked real dumb there. Uh, look at that. I didn't know that. And it, 
I actually found it more comfortable to use and more practical to use than well, the original. What I like about this is bullet. A, it's matte, and B, it's textured. Because my the reason I never carry my my bullet is because I well it's textured, but it just I, it it gets like if I'm today was what thirty something degrees thirty almost yeah. anything like when I'm on a hot day like that this yep. thing gets slippery and gross because I sweat like a pig. Yep. So I just you know I've gone back to pencils. And literally, it is as yeah, it's the same size. Almost the same size, maybe a couple, a little, a couple of millimeters, maybe longer. quarter inch. Not even. Anyway, much more convenient, and I'm sure that I won't lose the yeah. cap on this one. That's a nice touch. Yes. So I've switched to this telescoping. It was about forty or forty-five bucks. Not cheap. Mm, for sure. But for a still a Fisher. I'll switch straight to my uh, cell phone case. This is a 10 liter that I that I dyed and uh, that I've modified on my own. Tandy leather? Yep. Because um, there's a Tandy here in town somewhere. Yep. And this is the one... In the north end? It is uh, close to Metropolitan on uh, Langelier. Okay. In St. Leonard. In St. Leonard. Yep. I'm going to go check that out. So, because I'm dying to start on leather work. Nice. I'm, I'm, I got that case, got the die, but the the original one was a bit different in a way that it had Velcro and I hate it. So I put magnets. <laughs> I love the and way. I, and I actually had another uh, letter inside to uh, smooth it up and to hide the magnets inside. And you dyed this yourself. Yep. I love the way leather takes dye. That looks like a total pro job. Lovely. I took the time to do it. And so that's the other thing that I the other thing that I've done is add a small card pocket inside. So that's a bus pass. Yeah, it says the bus pass. I got a few business cards. I got a Fresnel. Front, yeah. And I got a small Thule, um pocket tool card. Uh, that one was a gift full titanium uh, from what I understand about 50 bucks as well um, nice thing about but titanium I find is it, you don't feel it but I find it so handy as well to, yeah. to have around uh, I actually adjust uh, a server the, uh, the that server had uh, knots on it and I found out to adjust it with it nice um, so dude I see two Leatherman cases here yes Yes, and both of them are used okay. differently. Okay. I'll start with a bigger one. Okay. Bigger one is for the bigger tool. Yes, I do carry the a Slederman Surge. You know what I like about the Surge? Aside from the fact that it feels beefy. Again, I'll show you close up. The blades on the wrench are replaceable. Yep. That's a nice touch. Another thing I like about the Surge is that Every so same. many. Is it everything? Well, you got two blades, you got um, a scissor, and you got a uh, rep replaceable saw slash file. But like most of it, well. You still got some tools inside. Some are on the inside, but all the big ticket yep. guys, like your knife and your saw, they're all out here, ready to go. And because it's and on it's the a, outside... And it's a freaking good knife. Yeah. For multi for multi-tool knife, it is awesome. Big in the hand, but there's so much capability on this. Yep. On this. Um, is this pocket clip, can you move it elsewhere or is it stuck? You, it is actually removable, removable, but you cannot swap it elsewhere, okay. just by the way that the, the yeah. tool is made. I guess it doesn't matter. I put the pocket clip more as an extra. Okay. Um, probably don't. I'm not using it at all. Um, as a backup flashlight, yes, it is my backup flashlight. I got a uh, True Night Ti5. But there's a problem with it. Okay. That freaking tail cap switch is so 
easy to play. Oh, and it sticks out too far too. So you need to loosen it up. Loosen the cap, but it's still the same thing as the yeah. other true knight that I we showed up a bit earlier. Yeah. So you loose up the cap. Battery goes dead because it's not fully engaged, so you don't have the problem with it, and it's not your main um, flashlight. Flashlight. Uh, why I'm carrying this one especially? Enclosed areas, telecom rooms, server rooms are really most of the time quite small, and you don't need a big flashlight to work in those. Okay. A bigger flashlight is actually, if you're just switching it to on a, uh, on a level too high, you will just blind yourself. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So this is the main reason why I carry a smaller flashlight right there. Um, it was my hook knife. It is a small CRKT keychain thingy. It has some carbide. Uh, for insert sharpening? Okay. for sharpening. I will not use this on my blades at all. Still there. Probably because I, I hate having an empty spot, so I just leave, leave it there. Uh, <laughs> then I'm gonna go wild and give you the whole thing. I do carry around an extra set of cash. And it's and it took literally the 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 bit older place. There's a there's some uh, elastic in the back. Okay. And I've put there some Canadian pesos. Are those old ones? No, the new ones. Mm -hmm. All new ones. Uh, I got fair amount of money because I just ate when everything goes down yeah. on electronic side. The other thing that I carry there are actually. A car key, because the the the, uh, the if you forget forget your car keys and you just have one, it's not, yeah. it's not a good thing. So and uh, the next one? even if I don't have uh, the 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 need to get an air elastic, I still carry one because because my wife still have longer hairs than me and she needed time to time. So yeah, as You're a good, good man. as a good husband, I'm carrying this around. And uh, the last one. The last one. I told you that I got two two of those sheets. Well, the second one is actually anything related Ooh, to yeah. my surge. Yeah. This is. Packed, man. It packed? No, no, it's overload. Well, I recognize that because I got one Pocket wrench. A pocket wrench. It is the. I got that one from Lee Valley. I got mine from Lee Valley too. This is the pocket wrench too. Yep. So it's um, stainless. Wonderful small tool. I love it. It is a small ratchet without the ratchet. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. It's like what you can't see here, but you will when I do a, yep. a close up. Is it this? works as a wrench at like any size yep uh, it's got a small quarter inch so hexagonal can, to uh, give you some leverage yeah so you can just put a bit in yep. there uh, it's got inches it's you can measure two inches or five centimeters yep um, and it's got a like I use this I use this end on mine I use it as a screwdriver to, to screw yeah. my my camera onto the um, the mounting plate. It's, yep. it's fabulous. It's very simple. Yep. Strong as hell. You can't bend it. Yep. Get <clears throat> okay, those um, bit drivers. You got the the extra bits from Letterman as well. What I like about the Leatherman bits, and I don't like about the Leatherman bits, is that they're, they're flat, so that you can carry them easily. But what that means is, instead of like say a full, what is that? That's an Allen, right? Yep. Instead of the full Allen. It's like they just take a slice out of an alley because you don't need and every they, single... And they are working well. Yeah, I can imagine they would be. It weirds me out to look at them, but I can't see why it wouldn't work well. Um, and like many other people, I've put a small needle, canvas needle in back of, of one of these. Yeah. Um, now, I'm, I'll get a bit... Um, I got the, the uh, search file. 
Okay. Which is a diamond on one side and a regular, well, a bastard file on the other. That's for if you ever want to get out of jail. Yep. And I'll get... We're kidding. We're kidding. Kidding? No. We're kidding. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, next. And now I got some metal file, a uh, metal saw from a uh, jigsaw. Uh, let's get started on this quickly. Okay, so these aren't Leatherman. This is They're, actually jigsaw. Yeah, blades. jigsaw blade. But you'll find out quickly. Oh man! That I see these fits straight up in lieu. But I usually double them because they're just they fit together and uh, they're just working fine. Okay, that's cool. And this will fit on there too, obviously. Yep, it it, it, uh, <coughs> it will fit there as well. We'll just and wrap this on right after. Okay. Yeah, that the smaller sharpie being made. It's a mini sharpie, sharpie mini. mini. Yep. Uh, very good indeed. Um, so how long does a mini last? I got mine from the two, two and a half years maybe. Still going and strong. I've, I haven't get through yet. Those are problematic to get in only black because you need to get the heat color pack at this, each time that you want one. Okay. Small pencil. Yep. The bit extender from Letterman. Yep. That allows to get regular bits uh, yep. in it. That being said, I do carry a Phillips and a Robertson, both number twos, full length. Re the main reason for is to get some reach into um, hard to reach places actually. So I'll get the bit extender, then I'll get a full length, a full length, and you'll get some That's reach. reach. Uh, yeah, but in uh, uh, server cabinets, right? You'll need this yeah, okay. to for those screws. Um, another thing, this one, it is a small ratchet. It is, eh? Yeah. Came, came with a bid kit uh, from Canadian Tire, uh, but it is literally almost the same length as the, the other bits. And it's a very fine teeth ratchet, ratchet that accept uh, is it a quarter. Yep. Regular bits? Yep. Okay. And okay. I actually end up using it with the bit extender from Letterman, and yes, it does fit. Hmm. So, to yeah. get... I like it. Yep. Again, server cabinets. I don't work with server cabinets, but I can think of all kinds of instances in which that would be cool. Yep. In my own uh, context. L two very last things that I carry there. I do carry a safety pin. Okay. Why? Uh, just lose your main belly button on your pants once and you'll understand why you want to carry one. Okay. <laughs> and I carry also miniature Phillips and standard drivers. Why? Laptops. Laptops. Especially the one from, well, any laptops except Apple. Uh, you'll need these to open them up, modify the RAM, or get a new hard drive in them. And where did these come from? Lee Valley. Lee Valley. <laughs> you cannot beat that place. Lee Valley will sell, uh, they have a Canadian site, an American site, and an international. Yep. So if we mention Lee Valley, we're not excluding anyone. It's nope. all Lee Valley dot, well, we go to Lee Valley dot CA, but you can do dot com. Dot com. Same site. You just click the flag and you can, uh, yep. but this is not an, an advert for Lee Valley. It we, is not. We like it, but we're not, it's <sighs> not, we're not being paid to say that. We just both really like Lee Valley. Yeah. And it's, uh, it, it's probably a problem with our wives at the end. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but I would like to say that not everything they sell is fabulous. It's, it's a weird collection of really cool stuff 
and, and they do have a manufacturing uh, facility. Yeah, with, and they're the ones Veritas. who make Veritas. Yeah, yeah. that's the, they're the ones that make uh, Veritas tools. Yeah. So this this covers what I carry on on my except, belt. Okay. Uh, I'll jump on straight to electronics. An old iPhone six. Nobody, everybody knows about them. And I do carry as well. Yes, an Android tablet. Uh, why both? Why both? You won't be able to troubleshoot Wi-Fi, which sometimes I do, with an iPhone. Why? The OS. Okay, tell me why. Again... You just cannot scan and have the full spectrum, all channels, all SSIDs being broadcast uh, okay. over an iPhone, while you'll be able to do it with your Android. This being said, with a laptop, it is better to use a Mac than a Windows machine. Why? <laughs> because you'll get easier to do the same thing as I just explained with the Android. You'll get it easier with a Mac well, rather than Windows. Okay. <laughs> Before my head explodes, <laughs> let's move on to the next EDC. But again, um, that is very mission specific. It is. In that case, yes. You and know. this is something that I use this tablet that that size it's all on about the size of an apple uh the, an ipad like mini an iPad mini and it fits into my back pocket of oh my on pants. the 511s yep yeah that's it cool fits fantastic. straight into okay main right. re this is the main reason why I, I chose that that uh, form factor and it's it's got a really big sort of beefy case well on. i yeah because i'm working on uh yeah. industrial slash manufacturing envir environment you just need a case in those cases. Okay. Okay. So that is that is all of Simone's ADC. Um, I'm gonna throw it out to you guys. If you guys want to, then please, by all means, either comment down below, or even better, do a video showing your showing us, in fact, your EDC. Yeah, because I'm I'm still interested in yeah. in seeing your and, take uh, on this. And I'll give you guys a shout out. And yep. um, so aside from that, that's all she wrote. If you like what I'm doing here, then please subscribe, comment below, share. Give me a smiley thumb. If you don't like it, give me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.